I loved your movie. Oh, thank you so much. You know, if, if the first thing I thought about was, you know, the, the thing you see on Facebook all the time and social media, cancer sucks. Mm -hmm. And this kind of brings that home. Yeah. In a, in a, in a very forehanky way, you know, I mean, <laughs> and, I, and, and, I, and I say that with humor, but it's really not funny. Yeah. So what drew you to this project? You know, I think it was a number of things. Um, I had read the original article when it won the National Magazine Award. So back in 2015, I remember reading it, never even thinking of it as a movie. And then the script came to me separately years later. Um, and I had loved the original article and posted it on social media. And it did something to me, but I wasn't able to articulate at the time, I think, why it resonated with me. And I think only later did I realize that like, it was a way into grief, I guess, and into um, understanding the process of grieving in such a new way. Um, to me, it sort of felt like you, you know, we, we grieve loss and there are different ways of doing that. You know, it always hurts. You're always sinking into this, this abyss, but this idea that you are, um, you know, you're going to be alone. Like if people say, oh, you're not alone. It's like, oh, you're definitely alone. <laughs> you're alone with your memories. That experience with that person is so unique to you. Um, but I think that if you grieve alongside someone who has memories that are you about that person that, that are unique to them as well, I don't know that it can help you not, I don't, it can't prevent your hurt. You know, you're still going to feel the hurt and the impact, but you, maybe you'll feel less alone. And I, I think there's something that Dane did for Matt there um, where he, yes, he was there for the family and yes, he was there to help take care of the kids and all that, but he was also grieving alongside Matt. And in some way, maybe that mitigated the pain. It's sort of like, you know, when Matt fell, you know, he's going to fall, right? He's going to fall into the, the darkness. But the idea that someone was there to break your fall um, and that someone, is something that Matt recognized later, you know? Someone who cares. Someone, uh, and, and yeah. I like that, that angle of it. Because to, to, I, I, I helped my father pass. And mm -hmm. uh, he had his, my stepmom. And the two of us, uh, work through it and, it and it made the pain a lot less but it's really yeah. hard to watch somebody you love die and I yeah. got that out of this movie now I read the article too and and I also read the article uh, a couple of articles about the article mm -hmm. and it's you 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 uh, s selected to not get quite as heavy and yeah. quite as intense as some of that was um, yeah. and instead focused on the friendship. Why? Why not get a little deeper? Yeah. You know, I felt that um, there were two, two main things. One was I think that I knew there were parts of this film and part parts of what they went through that would be um, almost unfathomable um, how painful it, it could be and emotionally un emotional emotionally unbearable in a lot of ways um and for me that was i think where i chose to hang my hat yeah. so that if you were going to feel anything you weren't ever going to feel um repulsed you weren't ever going to feel that you had to turn away because there was some physical uh you know thing that you can't watch I just didn't want to add that layer onto something that was already difficult. Right. Um, and, and I felt like that what we were doing was enough um, in hitting you in ways that were more visceral yes. than watching somebody clean a, an open wound. Yeah. Um, and that's the other part of me was like, you know, the article was, was really about, you know, it's Matt's point of view and how he felt about his experiences, but really I needed, I felt this obligation not only to Matt and Dane and the girls, but to Nicole. Yeah. And she has a she has agency. She has a thought. She has a point of view about her own death in this film. And because of that, it was like 
there, there was just like, I always, I call it like this little bird was on my shoulder, like Nicole was there the whole time. And I, I kind of wanted to also sort of tell the movie she would want told about her potentially and she, she in the memory she would want anybody to see that personal stuff i think so I the article but it, it didn't really and it didn't there's a there was some criticism about that i read some criticism i thought it was unfair because i didn't need to see all that stuff anyway i i understood um uh, how ugly it could have get you know she doesn't remember who you are she she's on the drugs because i remember my father yeah. was on morphine a little bit and you know you, you're kind of in another place the, yeah but i like the performances i especially like jason's performance it's uh, you know i've always thought him as is kind of a goofy comedy actor and all that kind of stuff but he has acting chops and his yeah. performance worked for me i mean that was a really dark moody performance and and, you, and it was a great piece of work i was really impressed how was yeah. he to work with oh my gosh he's a, he's a, he's unbelievable um he's a really a wonderful a wonderful actor in all the ways you just said he's also a wonderful person um and he um and i wanted all those brush strokes in this film right i, I wanted forgetting sarah marshall and i wanted end of the tour like i'm like he can straddle both of these movies. He can do broad comedy and he can also do this darkness um, that's like a thousand layers deep. And I felt like that is Dane. You know, Dane walks into a room, brings it up a notch, you know, yeah. um, allows people to kind of laugh and, and maybe just sort of like is a release valve in a way that way, but also has his own stuff that he's dealing with and contending yeah. with. And you see it in his eyes. And for me, that balance you know and that dance was so important for that role and like i i just i've seen jason do it and i've just never seen it all in one movie i guess you know and so that was the trick is to find when to pull back and the pacing of of that character in this film um but i knew he had all he has all the colors he he, he really was good i mean everybody was good casey affleck is is great uh, yeah. He does that kind of a part really well, and Dakota Johnson, of course, is, is is a much deeper actress than a lot of people give her credit for. She was very good in this, yeah. but Jason just rocked it. That was just I I felt for him. I know, like I didn't feel even for Nicole who's dying. You know, I felt this right. pain in this performance. Yeah. That yeah, that's really good work. It's really good work, and you did a great job of telling his story. His story was almost as important as hers. Isn't that interesting? And that is also another reason um, why, you know, you're reflecting, we're, we're, you know, the story and the pain isn't, you know, it is, is it is Nicole's, and we do show that, and we show her, you know, I have that, there is that scene that that beautiful scene that Brad wrote where she's watching the her life, her parallel universe, right, her life go on without her. Yeah. And when she watches them as a family and feels something about that, but it's sort of like very quickly she's kind of in a state where she's not weighing in on her own life, right? Because she's 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 fading. Yeah. And so like the real pain, right, is reflected in in Matt's eyes and in Jason, you know, in, in Casey's eyes and in Jason's eyes. And so being able to sort of experience the pain through him, um, was almost more important than understanding the pain she was going through you know at yeah. some level right at, at some point it's it's ours right <laughs> it's the burden of the living you know like we can't leave with them and um and watching that happen is in some ways it's it's part of what's tragic and part of what's beautiful is to see them kind of come out of that you know yeah. and um to see to see life go on you know, it was a, it's a really beautiful story anyway. It's a beautiful friendship. So I get the sense that Dane was more attached to Nicole than Matt, even though they were very good friends. His dedication was to her. And that comes out in the movie. And I was really impressed by, by that. But I was just impressed. And then the last scene where he's walking out the door on the line, and I, I deliberately left the line out of my interview. It's one of the most beautiful lines I've ever heard in the movie. And I'm a pretty hardcore guy. I mean, I'm not, it's hard to bring tears to my eyes. I heard that line. And mm -hmm. even thinking about it now, you know, it just, yeah. that was such a beautiful thing to say. And it's yeah. what he actually said to him. And I'm yeah. not going to give you the line, but wow. 
And you yeah. did that scene so well. Oh, you know, thank you. Really. Thank I you so talk, much. You know, stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? But uh, that was a, it's a really beautiful movie. It was, uh, it, it touched me in all kinds of ways. And I wish I, uh, I would have watched it with my wife and my, and my kids, because I think that's a beautiful story and, yeah. and beautifully done. You know, I, you I, so I love it. Well, yeah. and I mean so much uh, more, I think, to me, and I'm sure to everyone who worked on it, when it's someone who has gone through this you know, and I'm so sorry about your loss, but I feel like it's like that, this is who I did it for. Like, you know, I wanted yeah. it to work at some level and make you feel like, oh, someone, you know, in some way, shape or form um, felt what I was feeling or saw me. Yeah. And, you know, because I, again, as, as I said, like you feel alone, you know, and you really are, you know, you're alone in those times, right. but to just see like, okay, well, if all of us are alone in these times, you know, and uniquely alone and uniquely alone and uniquely alone with all the people we've lost, then we're kind of not alone, you know? Yeah. That's the weird thing, you know? You know, the thing I got from my father's passing when, and I spent uh, almost two years with him, almost every day, I was out of work then, what a blessing. So I spent yeah. almost every day with him, we played cards, we talked and learned a lot about his youth and all this kind of stuff. Wow. The one thing I learned about his dying is to, whenever you leave somebody you love to always say, I love you. Mm. And the last thing, my father and I had a horrible relationship when I was a kid. So I got to have the relationship with him as an adult that I never had with him as a child. And it was just kind of a fun reversal. But I learned that the last thing I ever said to him was, I love you. Mm. And the last thing I ever say to anybody when I leave them, you know, that I love, I always say, I love you. Just in mm -hmm. case, I never mm -hmm. say it again. And I know. I know. that kind of, your movie kind of brought, reminded me of why I do that. Yeah. You know, that's, it yeah. was, the, and that last line, you know, geez, yeah. what a great line. What yeah. a great thing to say to a friend. That's, ex that's exactly it. That's exactly it. I think that we, um, anyone who's kind of gone through um, loss and, gr and grieved, you think to yourself, like, never miss a moment to say the thing, you know? Yeah. And so it's like, you know, and I do that. I'm like notoriously the person who gives the, the cringy toast. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and really talking to the person and telling them like what they mean to us and what they mean to everyone, what they mean to me. And, yeah. and it's like, oh my gosh, like I, my, my wedding people are like, oh, please stop. Like this, this is too deep and too intense. But I was just like, I really have that like almost compulsion to say that like, you know, like before I leave, like, okay, really try to just get a bullion piece of what you've meant to me and say it. And like, yes, it's gonna make you uncomfortable, you know, because you just wanna leave and I'm life is normal and let's just go back to our like normal, you know, superficial lives, whatever. But it's like, I do feel like, well, I don't wanna miss a moment, you know, with the people I love. Like, I don't wanna miss that chance. Like, just say it and be the cringy toast giver. Like, I've embraced it. <laughs> Amen. And I've, I've been given the hook. And I just want to want to thank you so much for your time. And thank you for that movie. It was beautiful. I appreciate thank it. Thank you so much, Gary. I really appreciate it. And Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year. <laughs> Woohoo! We made it! <laughs> and thank you.